Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip here at 45 Drives. It's been a while since you see my face on one of these, so I'm gonna welcome myself back. A little back pat for myself for uh, taking one of these on. But no, seriously, today I'm gonna talk about something that uh, I'm really passionate about, and that is our Ceph storage bootcamp training. So let's just get into it. All right, so the point of this video really is to just give you a, a general overview on kind of who, what, where, why, when, I guess, is, is the long and short of it. So essentially what we've been doing is in the, back, uh, in the background, we've been developing a two-day comprehensive CEPH training program. So as far as the logistics of, of the training goes, the way it works is we can come to you, you can come to us, but most likely in, in today's climate, it's probably gonna be a virtualized thing. And that's totally cool and we're, we're prepared for that. That's kind of the, the default uh, way to do it, so to speak. So what we would do is we would do either Zoom or, or Microsoft Teams, something like that. So as far as who would be best suited to take a course like this, well, it's definitely geared towards people that are already Linux admins that, that you know, know their way around the Linux command line, um, know where to find logs, you know, that kind of thing, a little bit of networking, but you do not have to be a guru by any means. I mean, that's what we're here for, to teach you this stuff. Um, we do go into things like system D and we teach a little bit about system D, where to find logs. So it is predominantly Ceph, of course, but we do a, uh, quite a little bit of of, of Linux training as well. Um, it really kind of gets you to the level that you need to be to go forward with the training. All right, so just a little bit about what's actually included. Uh, well, obviously it's on screen here, but I'm just gonna talk a little bit about some of the things that we're gonna go into both in day one and day two. So day one, you can see it's gonna start off with like traditional storage and, and how that functions, which many people will probably already be familiar with versus Ceph and how that kind of differs. Then we're gonna get right into the actual Ceph services themselves. We're gonna really give you a, a in-depth view of Ceph theory, how all the services counteract and work with each other. Um, from there, we'll go into uh, the different parts of Ceph, right? So blocks, so RBD, CephFS, the file system, and then object via like S3 and Swift with the RGWs. Um, also, we go into like the CephX protocol, which is the authentication protocol that Ceph uses, and a whole lot more. Um, really cool, obviously, because this is 45 drives training. We also uh, pull in a lot of our own things. So uh, Ceph Deploy, which is a tool that we developed on top of our Houston uh, UI. It's one of our modules that lets you build a Ceph cluster um, without having to know anything about Ansible. Um, so it, that's included for sure. We do a section about Houston itself and all the different things that's, that uh, make up Houston. So that's day one. You get a really good foundation base about Ceph and about everything we're gonna learn. Then day two, you kind of that's where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, and we really get into, first and foremost, taking the VMs, getting them ready, getting them on a network, and then starting the process of getting Houston up. Uh, there's a little precursor into Ansible just to give you some foundation on how Ansible works because Ansible is under the hood building the cluster, even though you're actually building it with a UI tool that makes it really easy to do, right? So we give that precursor, then we go in, we build the cluster, uh, we get all the services up. Uh, once that's all up, we then, then go into specifics, right? So block storage, we go down that rabbit hole, we look at RBD, snapshot, clone, mirroring, libRBD versus krbd. If you don't know Ceph, all these things may sound like Greek to you, but trust me, you will know them when we finish. Um, then after all the, and then also iSCSI, so exporting RBD via iSCSI. Then we get into file system, right? And so we look at CephFS natively. Then we look at all the ways that you can actually export CephFS, SMB, NFS, things like that. And then also like fuse mounting and kernel mounting. Um, once we finish up that, obviously then there's the object portion, right? RGWs deploying and exporting via S3 and Swift, uh, load balancing, things like that. So once we get through all that and all the pieces, then we get into the really interesting part, at least from my side. We uh, look at obviously how the crush algorithm affects pools, how you build the pools for best performance, um, the best way to weight systems and things like that. And then we start, once we've kind of bring everything together, we then get into the troubleshooting. Like what do you do when things start breaking? And that's where I really had a lot of fun designing this, this training. So once we give you the whole thing and we feel like you're pretty competent uh, and we've, we've given you all the troubleshooting tools you need, that's when we really get into how, uh, how can we break this thing on you? So what we've done is we've developed a few different scripts that uh, once you're ready, 
we will run the script and it will break a specific part of the Ceph cluster. And then you're expected to go in and troubleshoot, figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. Then we go over it as a class together and then we do that a few more times. And there's some really cool uh, ways that we, we've been able to break Ceph clusters. So uh, that, that's kind of where it all kind of wraps up. Then we have a wrap up session. We, we do questions and answers and, and that's kind of the end of it. Um, also, we have a, a lot of great resources that also then comes with the training. So when you're finished, you get a fantastic Ceph commands list guide. You have the whole documentation on how to build a Ceph cluster from scratch into production. Um, you get a glossary of terms, all kinds of really, really great resources. Um, and then uh, when you finish the course, you're actually going to get a real certificate, obviously a printed certificate. We'll also mail you a metal certificate made by 45 drives, which is really, really cool. And maybe we'll get uh, uh, the team to put it in the video here so we can show off what they look like because uh, I really like them. So I just want to get into a little bit about why we see so much value in this uh, boot camp. And first and foremost, it's Ceph has always kind of been a bit of the boogeyman to some people. It's this big, scary thing. Um, but when you get to get down to it, it really isn't, especially these days. And so what we wanted to do is make Ceph more accessible for more people, which we really feel this training course does. Um, it makes Ceph uh, much more manageable and understandable, especially if you have a good trainer, which we absolutely do have great, great people that are uh, delivering this course. Um, and so that, that's number one, but also number two, it, it's going to level up teams to be able to manage their Ceph clusters and even do things that they may not have had the confidence to do with it uh, before this, right? Be able to put more workloads on Ceph clusters and be able to branch out and, and do really cool projects um, and have that base understanding and have that mentor uh, that, that kind of has brought you through the fire, so to speak, and get you to a point where you feel much more confident with Ceph as a whole. And so we really hope that we bring that to the table and that's our, that's our kind of goal, that's our promise to our customers that are gonna take this course is to really get you to that point. All right, so that's about everything I wanted to get to in today's video. Uh, hopefully I've fired some of you up to, uh, to get to learning Ceph and whether or not you, you kind of learn from us or you just wanna go out and, and really take that step that you've been wanting to take to learn Ceph. Um, but if you do want to come with us and, and come on this journey and, and learn Ceph with us, there's going to be a link down below for you to sign up for the Ceph Bootcamp. Uh, and with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.